What's up everybody? So, somebody had commented on one of my videos and wanted to see a little uh, startup kind of deal and truck tour kind of thing, so without trying to get too much stuff in there. What we got here is a lovely, lovely, well, I don't know how lovely, but it's a Hino, Hino 258. Uh, Series 12 LCG flatbed, rollback, roll bed, a million different things, whatever the hell you want to call it. Uh, air brakes, all that good stuff. So we're gonna fire her up, turn the key to on here, and let the uh, thing cycle itself out. And usually it doesn't take very long. There we go. And I'm gonna move her forward because we're gonna do a little tour of just what we got on the truck. And so I need some room to drop the bed back. Right here it works. All right. A little blue indicator. If nobody is familiar with that, that means that it's cold. And I actually have a engine brake I can kick in. See that? It'll uh, exhaust break the engine, help it warm up a little faster. So, it's gonna do a walk around tour. Uh, another thing I've got here is dump suspension. I can drop that. It actually dropped my back end about four inches, which will reduce my loading angle pretty well. Um, let's see here. Trying to running lights. Uh, everything's controlled by a little switch panel here, overhead lights. That's the front. I've got one for the rear. Then I've got two lights, two up and down lights on the back, and one hydraulic PTO. So let's get out and take a gander at that. One switch controls the two lights up in the bar, the other switch controls these two. And those two. But actually, this thing's got another cool feature besides it being all lit up on the control panel. You know, these two are for my bed, these two are for my wheel lift that's on the back. This is a two car flatbed, and then the red one in the middle is my winch on the deck. So I'm gonna roll my bed back. Just enough that I can uh, get past the locks and raise it up. Uh, so this thing has a cool feature because got lights underneath that come on with the lights in there that actually light up my trays. And typically on top of the trays will carry, let me cut that hydraulics off. <laughs> I'm sitting here listening to myself yell. All right, so we've got, typically we carry chains and stuff on one side, or we'll have a chain on both sides. We have some lumber here. And just to save me from walking over there, we got a couple of skates, a piece of lumber, a broom. Just basic cleanup shit. Um, on both sides we have these trash can holders. We got a diesel can and a gas can. A little bit of soap to help shit slide up. And here it's just basic uh, stuff. We got a sledgehammer, uh, a pair of bull cutters, a set of tow lights. We got a recovery chain, some triangles, a box of baking soda. In here is a set of what they call convertibles towing trailers. Snatchbox always winds up yanked out. I don't know who keeps using the stupid thing, but yeah, it's a convertible, which is basically three little balls and they all lock into one piece here so you don't need like three different ones. However, there's no wrench to lock that thing down so it may not help. Set of jumper cables. Uh, over here we got some extra straps, fire extinguisher. Uh, regular little motorcycle tie down straps. I got a little work light. Hand uh, sanitizer for those nasty, bloody jobs. Uh, that's pretty much it for this side. I usually have a first aid kit I carry in there, or a trauma kit, and a set of lockout tools, but that's not in there right now. I'll go over, go over here at the end of stuff I bring that I carry. On this side, we got trash can gas can 
a couple blocks of lumber, a couple of skates for sliding shit up. Room. On this side we got uh, a couple of cones, about six of them. Got a uh, another sledgehammer kind of deal with an axe head, shovel, pry bar, jack handle, floor jack, lug wrenches. Got an air hose right there that uh, has a tire inflator that plugs into this guy here. Runs off the truck's air system. Um, the lighting inside both sides of the boxes comes on with the bed lights. So that's not too shabby. Some decent light. Over here we've got this big old massive turd or mechanical crap behind the step. That's all part of the uh, SCR system, I think they call it now. Def tank, or as I like to call it, the smog piss tank. One custom touch I got on this thing. Triple trumpet train horn. Comes with air everything except for an air horn. So, pretty much it. Uh, controls are on both sides. Uh, they've got a set of these things here. We call them go jacks. They're able to move cars that won't come out of park and stuff around. Um, I don't really use these that much. I don't really like them. I'd rather just hook a chain onto it and drag it. So much easier. Now, let me drop the bed down. And then I'll, I guess just go out the wheel lift and then I'll end this with my general carry stuff that I bring with me. And I'll flip on the rear of the light bar. You guys can see what that looks like. This is a Chevron Series 12 LCG bed. This is our light bar. Probably missed something, I'm not sure. Everybody has their own little way they like to have this thing set up. Me personally, since I drive most everything up, I usually don't have the winch cable out. Just tie down straps, a couple of chains on each side. I believe that's a uh, 9,000 pound winch. So, I don't think I, I might need the hydraulics on still. But back here, the second vehicle we've got 4,000 pound rated, uh, we call it a stinger, but it's a tow bar. It extends out, goes up and down, chain pockets on each side, and then these things are actually the shoes that hook up to the wheels, slide into there with a couple of pins. Let's see if I can extend it out. So that has the ability to... You can also use it to stabilize the truck if you're in a messed up spot. Not really recommended, but it does come in handy. That's pretty much it. Now we can see how we squat, how low, that, how low of a low we go with that. And it's, uh, suspension's dropped. So right now I'm gonna kill off all the lights and I'm going to re-raise our suspension. There is a logo on there. There. A little lo little trucky logo right there on the bottom. That means the suspension's down. So when that's on there, this thing has an automatic safety for that. So if I decide to release the brakes, it automatically cuts out the suspension drop and reinflates. I'll do that so it can fill itself back up. You can see already how much of a rise this thing gets. It's a good couple inches, it makes a big difference on the loading angles. So, other than that, I mean, it's a Toyota truck. <laughs> I'm not sure what else to say about this thing. Uh, I guess I'll go over just the general, some of the general equipment that I bring with me. Uh, where are we at on air? Yeah, it's got to run for a minute. We're at about 100, 110 right now. I'll let it run until it fills up. Basically, you'll know it's full when you hear it go, hear it make its little lovely sound. Headset, gotta have a headset. So anyway, let me grab my equipment, I'll come back on just the stuff I carry with me normally. Alright, so like I said in the end of the video, we'll go over the stuff I normally carry with me that I bring. Uh, we'll start with the, my uh, go bag, or as I like to call it, my go bag. Basically all my inside truck stuff. I've got gloves, got my clipboard. You can write stuff down, a pair of safety glasses, 
Carry a bottle of rubbing alcohol in case I uh, get some fluids on me that I don't want and I'm not talking about antifreeze. Carry plenty of flashlights. This is one of my old Stingers. It's made by a company called Streamlight. Super freaking bright. I love these lights. Got a couple of other flashlights, bigger ones, whatnot. I work at night a lot, so flashlights are a big must. A couple extra batteries. Latex or nitrile gloves. Can never go anywhere without some sort of pocket knife. Uh, these come in handy for all kinds of things. You never know if you roll up on somebody, you gotta cut a seatbelt or scrape some tags off or an officer or something like that. It's just a million and one uses for a pocket knife, so it's always good to carry one. Uh, I'll get back to that. I can't seem to do that one handed right now. Another flashlight, another flashlight. Uh, smell good spray for the truck. I hopefully never ever have to use this shit because this stuff is horrible to spray. But uh, since I'm by myself in the truck, you never know who the hell is getting into your truck. We've got pepper spray. Very effective. However, if you spray somebody with this shit, be ready because you're going to get some of it back too. That's why I said hopefully never ever have to use that shit. I've used it in the past in other jobs and it sucks. Um, notepad to write stuff down. Another notepad, pens, so forth, um, paper clips, office supplies. Uh, we go to my GoPro box, all my GoPro crap in here, batteries, mounts, pretty much batteries because these GoPros suck batteries. Uh, I've got a clip-on deal that actually I'll usually use on the headache rack right here. Instead of having in some chargers and shit, um, extra memory cards. That goes under the seat in the cab. Uh, before we get into the rest of this, we've got a few other things in the cab. I'm just not going to sit on the bed. A couple of jackets. And for those late night naps in the truck, I've got a nice warm blanket. It is the, getting into the winter time right now, so it's getting a little cooler. Got my uh, power inverter. Phone charger, and the reason I use this setup is I'm able to plug in this, the fast charger of Samsung and charge up my phone faster than you're going to get in a cigarette lighter plug, so that works. Hard hat. I don't know if you guys have ever seen my hard hat or my GoPro hard hat setup, so most of the videos you're watching, it's typically going to be from this camera right here, and it's glued to a mount, or it's slid in on a mount that's glued to the front of the hat. All right, that's typically how I do most of my POV kind of vi uh, videos. And uh, this light is another Streamlight product. It's actually a hat light, so when you hear it, the knocking, that's this stupid thing bouncing around. I gotta put like a rubber band or something over it, but this is pretty much, for the most part, my camera setup. <laughs> GoPros do horrible at night, so you also have to have light. Uh, I did say I carry a trauma kit. That's what this is. I've got uh, various medical supplies in there, tourniquets, etc. Um, out in the field, sometimes you're it's all you've got. So realistically, if I get hurt, that's what the hell this thing's for. I don't do first aid on other people. So yeah, uh, I skipped over this. This here is what we call our lockout kit. Basically, all the tools I need to get into a car, which I'm not going to pull every single one of these things out because it actually ends up making a big giant mess. And stuff. Uh, my tool bag, various tools. Got my Milwaukee impact gun. This thing is awesome. Been using it ever since that last video I made about this thing, and it is still kicking ass. Actually, this is my preferred gun over pneumatic now. So, yeah, I, I love that thing. Got a cheap set. Well, actually, these things aren't cheap. This, this set's like 70 bucks. Harbor Freight impact sockets, or what they call. Thin wall impact sockets. I take the plastic coatings off and the little plastic inserts out and they make really good thin walls. These are impact sockets. They're Chinese impact sockets. Probably chrome vanadium with uh, some kind of coating on the outside. They are impact sockets. They're impact rated. But keep it in mind, in this job, I abuse the crap out of these things. And I'm going to use these a lot more than you probably will in a garage. Just in a home garage or anything like that. So... Inevitably, these things shatter. And when they do, chuck it, get another one. That's where this red one is. This one was a replacement. So, 
full set of these. I uh, can't go wrong with these because when you're doing tire changes and stuff like that, you're going to run into a lot of people that have uh, aftermarket wheels and your lug wrenches just aren't going to fit. Or I just don't feel like breaking my back to use a lug wrench. But uh, not your all gloves, can never have enough of those, never have enough gloves. But uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. I mean, this isn't really going to be a long video because there isn't really a whole lot. This is pretty simple setup, and I don't carry a lot of stuff in this truck, so for the most part, what you see is what I got right here. But uh, if you like it, hit the thumbs up button. And uh, if you haven't subscribed already, well, you know, hit that subscribe button. Why not? It's not going to hurt you. It doesn't cost anything. Always enjoy putting up good content, and always enjoy seeing people enjoy the good content I put up. So... Anyway, which way. All right, guys, that's it for the uh, Hino flatbed walk-around deal. So, till next time, I'll see you all in the next one.